Adam, I've been testing the Philips Fidelio FB1 soundbar, which is their latest soundbar. In fact, it's so new that I think I'm the first person uh, in the country to see it, or at least that's what they told me. Uh, and uh, I've got to say, very impressed. Um, I'll start with the uh, outer looks before I get on to the inner beauty, but uh, this is a stylish looking soundbar. Uh, it's got a, um, a metal mesh grill across the front, the top and the sides and a, a very attractive uh, leather trim as well. And it's finished in black, so it will sit um, under your TV without drawing attention to itself. Uh, although, um, if you do want to draw attention to itself, it does have uh, ring lights around the upward firing speakers on the top. Now, these can be turned off, but um, they do look quite cool. And obviously, um, they come on when, you are, when, you're, when you're listening to something that's got a Dolby Atmos or a DTSX soundtrack with um, overhead channels. So that way, at least you can quickly see uh, if you're getting the full signal that you want to be receiving. So that's quite a nice touch. There's also a, a front display, although because the display is behind the mesh grill, it can be quite tricky to read sometimes. That's one criticism on my part. Um, it's claimed to be a 7.1.2 channel system, although I should stress that actually inside the soundbar there are 5.1.2 speakers um, composed of 15 drivers, and all this is driven by 310 watts of amplification. So um, when I say 5.1.2, what I mean is that there are front, left, and right and center speakers. There are two side firing speakers. There are two upward firing speakers, which basically mount sounds off the ceiling to create the overhead channels. And there's also two built-in woofers, which do the uh, the low frequency, the 0.1 aspect of the audio. So there's no uh, separate uh, subwoofer, although um, this uh, soundbar supports some um, DTS PlayFi. So you can use that to create a wireless system with uh, wireless rear speakers and also a wireless subwoofer if you wanted to do that. But I will say that in testing, uh, this soundbar, even though it's a single unit with, without a separate subwoofer, it goes very deep. The claim is 40 hertz, but I've got to say, I thought it was a, a really impressive deep uh, low bass performance for a single um, soundbar, which basically means that um, if you don't want to do the separate subwoofer, or maybe you can't fit it in, or maybe you live in an apartment and don't want to annoy your neighbors, this will deliver a really good bass performance without necessarily going for the separate sub. In terms of its connectivity, it uh, it has uh, two HDMI, one input and one output, and um, these are HDMI 2.0b, which basically means that they will pass 4K. They will support all versions of um, HDR, so HDR10, HDR10+, HLG, and Dolby Vision. But what they don't support are 4K 120 VRR and ALM. So uh, if you're a gamer, um, you're going to be better off connecting your games console directly to the TV and then sending the audio to the soundbar bar by, via EARC. So you'll still get the full audio, but um, don't connect it into the input because you'll lose some of your gaming features if you do that. Uh, it supports Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and IMAX Enhanced. So that's most of the immersive audio formats. And uh, it's got other connectivity as well, which is quite good if you're interested in you know, music, for example. So you've got uh, Bluetooth, Chromecast, and obviously, as I mentioned, PlayFi, DTS PlayFi. And there's also uh, Spotify Connect and Apple AirPlay 2. And I've got to say, it's very easy to set up because you can either use um, Apple AirPlay 2 or you can use a, a Philips uh, remote control app that actually uh, allows you to set up the, um, the uh, soundbar. And there's also a second app which allows you to fine tune it as well in terms of tweaking the performance. And it comes with a uh, microphone which you can set up and then run an auto EQ system which will actually um, optimize the soundbar for your particular environment. So I've got to say, uh, it's a really nice package. It's a fantastic performer. I will, um, perhaps I should just clarify that because obviously it doesn't have actual rear channels unless you buy the optional wireless rear, rear channels, then you won't get the full immersion you would get from a system that has rear channels. But you get a very big, very powerful front sound stage. As I mentioned earlier, you get some really deep bass and you get very effective overhead channels as well. Although the effectiveness of that will depend on what kind of ceiling you've got. So the lower, the flatter, the more reflective it is, the better. If you've got like a vaulted ceiling, this isn't for you because you're not going to get any overhead channels. So bear that in mind. But I've got to say for a single unit, this is a stellar performer that delivers a really good immersive audio. Um, and also it's got a dedicated center channel, of course, which means you get nice, clear dialogue. And it sounds good with music too, thanks to two really good left and right um, channel speakers. So overall, I'd say this is a, a cracking soundbar and it's £699. It's not going to break the bank. Mm -hmm.